then you'll feel like you're not studying enough or you don't know enough right and let me tell you that's really discouraging and such a bad thing so never do that like so i remember drinking two three cups of espresso a day and not being able to sleep and that really affected my mental health and my well-being <laughs> Hi there, my name is Sasti and this is my channel where I post videos uh, sharing my journey with you guys. So currently I am a second year medical student and uh, well to be honest I have completed all of my classes for the second year but have not been able to take my exams due to the coronavirus pandemic and thus I got a gap of about three to four months and this allowed me to uh, reflect back on my previous years and yeah. So I've taken some notes uh, documenting some of my lessons that, are, that I would like to share with you guys so uh, you might find it useful as well. So tip number one. So my tip number one for you guys is do not compare yourself with anyone. So in med school you'll find people who study 25 hours out of 24 hours and trust me that is possible. And it's really easy for you to compare yourself with them. You'll feel like you're not studying enough or you don't know enough, right? And let me tell you, that's really discouraging and such a bad thing. So never do that. Like the only competition you should have is with yourself. And I know it's uh, easy, easy said than done, but trust me, this is a life savior. Tip number two. Uh, so during the first year of medical school, it's really overwhelming seeing the amount of information you have to deal with every day. Like it's such a big deal such a huge chunk right and you feel like you need to study everything and know everything in order to be a good student right and let me tell you uh, you don't need everything and that's and studying everything is one of the worst strategy I guess okay I don't want mean to offend anyone but uh, because in med school like uh, medical contents are divided into three categories the nice to know uh, must know and should know stuff right uh, and uh, and you guys might might be wondering like how would I know in during my first year of medical school like what is needed and what is not right so for this there are a lot of high yield uh, books in the market and um, books not books there are a lot of high yield resources in the market that I want you guys to stick through and yeah that might be a help so my number one resource uh, for knowing the high yield stuff is boards and beyond. Uh, so this is a, a video, video lecture by Dr. Jason, I guess, yeah, uh, and he explains stuff really uh, nicely and efficiently. And my number two resource is first aid. So first is like a, uh, so first aid, I'll be showing the picture over here. So first aid is, uh, is like a concise book con uh, containing the contents from year one and two, that is your basic science, into a uh, really small and really good chapters I guess I don't know how to explain it like it's really amazing like the amount of content they have in the book like the book contains up the like the book contains everything and the book is really small I don't know how to explain it like this book is really worth buying and I highly suggest you guys to buy this book and besides that the other high yield resources can be Kaplan videos uh, like I guess they, uh, they have two editions one is 2010 and another is 2014 the 2010 videos are relatively short but the 2014 uh, editions video are like long like they are like four hour long but they contain up but they contain a lot of topics and I guess that can be a pretty help as well but still I would I personally prefer both and beyond and first aid so tip number three so my tip number three for you guys is no, not buying textbooks <laughs> I mean yeah this sounds crazy but let me explain right so you guys do not need to buy every textbook that is possible, right? Like the faculties would suggest you to buy this and that and that and that and that. But I don't think that's absolutely necessary unless you need, unless you need a hard cover or a hard book in front of you to just study, right? Because number one, uh, you won't be using textbook as much as you think right now. And number two, they are really expensive. Thus the cost per use ratio would be very high and I don't think that's worth it. And moreover, there are a lot of study, like there are a lot of like lecture slides and lecture videos, and I guess uh, that is a more better way of learning. Like that's not really ancient. Yeah, I mean that's pretty fun, right? And besides that, uh, yeah, but you guys will need textbooks for referencing, and in that case, you can always use the library or the PDF. I mean, I personally prefer PDF because uh, I can get access to the newer 
additions whenever I want. So the tip number four for you guys is make 100% uh, use of the library. Like before mentioned, uh, the library has a lot of books, right? Like everyone knows that. But besides that, library is a very good place for making bonds with your seniors and seniors can come really handy in med school. So tip number five. So my tip number five for you guys is to not be afraid of uh, trying new techniques, right? Because uh, med school, in my country, we study med school and we study medicine just directly after our high school. So like that's a very big leap and very big and we have to really work hard, right? So our techniques that we use in our high school might not work for our med school. I mean, do I make sense? I guess I do, right? So do not be afraid of trying new techniques, right? And so uh, without trying, you won't uh, be able to know what suits you. So uh, how do I do tip number six? So my tip number six, I mean, I really don't know how to use these fingers but, uh, for tip number six, but okay. Tip number six. So my tip number six for you guys is that try active recall. So active recall is like one of the best uh, studying strategies out there. Uh, active recall basically means that you study the topic and then you try to test your memory uh, by recalling the stops, right? And this allows you to remember things for a longer time and more efficiently and this is time friendly as well. Uh, there are a lot of apps or stops in the market that helps you uh, apply this concept in your uh, daily life and the, one of the best ones is Anki. So Anki is basically a flashcard type of app that helps you um, make flashcards and just you, it uses the principle of act, active recall to help you study. And there are a lot of pre-made cards in Anki. So if you guys want me to say something about Anki, please let me know in the comment section below. So my tip number seven for you guys is um, mental health. I mean, this is not a tip, but this is like an advice from a senior. Uh, yeah. So uh, when I when I got into medical school, I thought like I have to study a lot, 24 hours a day. My life is dark. My social life would be zero. My life would be a hell. I would cry every day and stuff. But let me tell you, it was not exactly like that. So in doing the first year, it's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking like you need to study more, right? And in that way, you might just uh, kill your sleep and indulge in coffee and stuff. And I have been guilty of that. So I remember drinking two, three cups of espresso a day and not being able to sleep. And that really affected my mental health and my well-being. Yeah, and I, that's why I uh, want you guys to not do that. So take proper sleep, do not indulge in any kind of substance addiction. May it be coffee or anything else like you guys know. So my tip number eight and the last one for you guys is that ask help. So in med school, you need help from the seniors, faculties, teachers, family, friends and a lot because it's a lot of pressure for you guys to fit in medical school and you guys need help. So ask for it and sometimes you might feel mentally sick i mean i don't want to mean this in negative way like sometimes you might feel very anxious and de depressed and this is really common among me amongst medical students so i want you guys to ask help from the professionals when you feel you need to and don't be shy from that and uh, you guys you guys can talk uh, about your mental issues with your friends or you can always communicate with me and I'll be there for you guys right so yeah this is it so these are the things I wanted to share with you and if you found it useful please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to me I mean yeah, yeah. see you later bye and see you later bye oh, bye bye oh, bye 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 he helped me with the video <laughs> I'm thirsty. Thirsty. Like, are you crying? No. Uh, but you're super shy? Yeah. I'm smiling and shy singing in front of all these people. Yeah. Albert and my brother is laughing over there and that's disturbing me. Ethan! But. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And my tip number two is 
library. Prati! No t-shirt? So now let's begin with my number two. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ.